What's up, guys? Jeff here, and today, you know we love the saltwater fishes here on Mad Hatter's Reef, and we're going to do another top 10 like we typically do here, but before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Now, this top 10 is all about the wrasses, so if you love wrasses like I love wrasses, make sure you hit the thumbs up, grab your fish tank lid, and let's get after it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 reef safe wrasses is the Line Spot Flasher Rass. Price point on this guy, not too bad. Coloration, not the most flamboyant of the wrasses, but it is a Flasher Rass, so that's something that you need to keep in mind. The fins on this guy are absolutely amazing, even though that he's a little bit on the saltwater molly look inside. These guys are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore based diet are considered reef safe because this is a reef safe RAS top 10. Grows upwards of three inches and requires a minimum tank size of 55 gallons. Not a bad beginner friendly saltwater fish. The important thing to mention anytime that you're talking about RASs, which we'll probably mention or echo a few times during this video, is they are known jumpers. They like to jump out of the tank, so it's very important to make sure that you have a lid on the tank. Not always the best idea to go with glass, sometimes netting, even though that has its drawbacks as well. Something that has a little bit of give to it is probably the best way to go when you are putting a lid on the tank. Check them out, the Line Spot Flash Harass. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 reef safe rasses is the Carpenter's Rass. He knows his way around the house with a hammer. Just, let's just put it that way. Again, not too bad on the price point. $44 at the time of this recording. They are considered easy to care for, which is astonishing with how beautiful the males are with this species of fish. They are considered peaceful, have a carnivore-based diet, are reef safe, grow upwards of 3 inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 55 gallons. A absolute showstopper of a flasher wrasse. Check them out. The Carpenter's Flasher Wrasse. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 reef safe wrasses is the Blue Throat Fairy Wrasse. Now, this guy is a little bit higher in the price point. $79 during the time of this recording. They are beautiful wrasses, though. And like always, known jumpers. Make sure you have a lid. The name for this guy is... Obviously, he has a blue throat coloration, which is very stunning with those oranges and reds that he has in his main body. There is a big difference between the males and the females, and you don't always get to pick which one you get when you're ordering these guys online. So it might be a better candidate for going to the local fish store and picking one up. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe. A little bit larger of a wrasse. They grow upwards of 4 inches and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons. Coming in at number 7 is McCosta's Flasher Wrasse. This guy is $59 during the time of this recording. Absolute beautiful fish. Definitely got some interesting markings to go along with him. It's got a little fin stuff going on. Very beautiful orange colorations and the blue lines going down the side. Stunning fish. Just like most wrasses, there is a coloration difference between males and females, and it takes a little bit of time uh, for those females and juveniles to kind of come into coloration. And usually you want to buy a group when it comes to wrasses because uh, they are harem-style breeding fish. And if you have just one male and one female, he might spend a little too much attention on the female, especially if there's just one of them, if you know what I mean. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, Carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 3 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 55 gallons. Absolute beautiful Flasher Rass, McCosta's Flasher Rass. Coming in at number 6 on our top 10 Rasses that are of the reef safe is the Linatus. I got it right. At least I think I did. Fairy Rass. Now these guys, as far as price point goes, pretty high up there. They are $199 during the time of this recording, but a very pretty fish. Just don't tell the wife, I guess. I don't know. 
They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe. These guys grow a little bit on the larger side, 5 inches, definitely a good size wrasse, and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons. Now, these guys are known finicky eaters, so it's very important to make sure that you pick one of these guys up at your local fish store, make sure he's eating well before you buy him, and definitely worth it because he's an absolute show stopper. Check him out, the Linatus Fairy Rass. You know how many times I had to practice to get that one right? Coming in at number five is the Ruby Red Fairy Rass. Price point on this guy right now as during the time of this recording $79 for a medium sized one large one a little bit pricier $90 a very beautiful fish the coloration on this guy uh, obviously very ruby-esque in the head the bottom or under side of the fish is usually like blues and purples very very impressive fish when you see it in person and if you ever get the opportunity to pick one up 80 bucks not horrible for a wrasse of this beauty, check them out. Uh, they are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament. Carnivore-based diet are considered reef safe. A little bit on the larger side as far as wrasses are concerned. They can grow upwards of 5 inches, which increases the tank size on these guys. As far as minimum tank size, they're looking at 90 gallons. Anytime that you have a wrasse, it's very important to make sure you have plenty of hiding spaces. They usually like to hover. They have a very interesting swim style, uh, but they, it almost looks like hovering and looking and picking at the rock work. So you want to make sure you have a good amount of caves, a good amount of rock work, just so he can have uh, everything that he needs to thrive in your reef tank. And it's always important to make sure that you have a decent depth on your sand bed, especially towards the back of the aquarium, because these guys like to little burrow into the sand uh, when they go to sleep. So definitely important to make sure they have good sand depth when you are keeping wrasses. Check this guy out, the Ruby Head Fairy Wrasse. Coming in at number four on our top 10 reef safe wrasses is the Splendid Pintail Fairy Wrasse. That is a very long name for this guy. Uh, price point, pretty substantial. 160 bucks for a intermediate fish, one that hasn't really um, developed into a male yet. So you're talking juvenile slash female males, 200 bucks. That's a lot of money. Uh, these guys, even though that they are absolutely stunning and beautiful are considered easy to care for. So you got that going for you. Uh, they are peaceful, have a carnivore based diet are considered reef safe, grow upwards of five inches. So even though that they look like they're not that big, uh, when you see pictures of them online, they do get pretty big. So uh, tank size on these guys, 90 gallons. Check them out. The Splendid Pintail Fairy Ross, the third. Coming in at number three on our top 10 reef tank safe wrasses is Scott's Fairy Ross. If Scott had a Fairy Ross, this would be the guy. As far as price point goes on this fish, $100. And depending on where you get your fish is going to kind of dictate the coloration. There is definitely... Uh, some changes between the Australian Tonga and Fiji style of this fish. And it, in my opinion, the Tonga variety is definitely the prettiest. These guys are considered easy to care for, semi-aggressive temperament. So as far as wrasses go, most of them are pretty well behaved. Not all of them. This happens to be one of the guys that you may want to add later, especially if you're putting together a stocking list for your fish, semi-aggressive fish. Towards the end of it, carnivore-based diet, they are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 6 inches, and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons. Coming in at number 2 on our top 10 wrasses is the Flame Fairy Wrasse. Now, this guy packs a punch on the wallet. A small juvenile slash female is going to cost you $170. A male, which is of the Hawaiian variety, medium size, 4 hundred and ninety nine dollars wow flame fairy ras beautiful fish but definitely rough on the wallet care level moderate for these guys they are peaceful carnivore based diet they are considered reef safe grow upwards of four inches they hail from hawaii and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons 
All right, folks, here we are at the number one spot on our top 10 reef safe wrasses, and we got the mystery wrasse coming in at the number one spot. Price point on this guy as during the time of this recording, $150 for a medium size mystery wrasse. They are considered easy to care for, semi-aggressive, something to consider. They are carnivores, reef safe, grow upwards of five inches and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you want to learn more about taking care of saltwater fish, check this video out. I'll see you over there.